All right, so this story had dropped last week and there's been a lot of misinformation and a lot of confusion about this. And with this video, what I wanna do is I wanna clear up a lot of the misconceptions and misinformation about what's going on when it comes to the remastered Dragon Ball Z movies that are coming to theaters this fall. You know, a lot of major websites have covered this, like Entertainment Weekly, Comic Book, IGN, and as I've said before, just because a website is very well known for news does not mean that they really know what's going on in the anime business or in the Dragon Ball business, and even the big websites that cover these things don't exactly know what's really going on. A lot of them just copy pasta each other and they don't know and this has led to a lot of confusion in the community. So with this video what I want to do is spread this video out so that everybody knows exactly what is going on with this story. Okay so yes they will be showing Dragon Ball Z movies in theaters this fall. Uh, let me go ahead and you know kind of clarify what exactly is happening because a lot of this article is correct but there's a couple things that i want to clarify for those who may be confused so coming up september 15th and monday the 17th like it says right here the eighth dragon ball z movie broly the legendary super saiyan is going to be coming up in airing in theaters in limited release um those two days so you'll have two chances to watch that movie uh, that is Dragon Ball Z Movie 8, the first Broly movie. You can see it in theaters for the very first time in North America. Now, this movie did premiere in Japan in theaters way back in the 90s, obviously. Um, out of these, you know, movies that we're talking about here, you know, this is the longest of the original 13. So when you go see this movie, it's just going to be this movie. Now, the thing that people are confused about is the whole remastering thing. This movie has already been remastered. There's people out there who think that these movies are being remastered now, and there's people who think that they don't understand the difference between remastering and remaking. This movie is not going to be reanimated. There's no new animation. That's not what's going on here. It's pretty much the same movie that you already own, well, you may own it, on Blu-ray or on DVD in the movie theater. That's it. It's not a remake. It's not getting redubbed. That is a fact. I can tell you that firsthand. It is the original dub of Broly the Legendary Super Saiyan from the 2000s. It's going to be shown in theaters, though. So if you own the Blu-ray to Broly the Legendary Super Saiyan, if you've got the Funimation Blu-ray, that's what you're going to get in the movie theater. It's already been remastered for the Blu-ray. All of the movies were remastered for the Blu-ray. So understand that that's what you're getting into also there was some confusion about whether or not it would air dubbed or subbed the company itself putting this out has said that it's going to be dub only so if you're looking forward to seeing the movie subtitled in japanese which i would have loved to have seen just to kind of get that authentic japanese experience it's not going to happen with these showings it's only going to be dubbed now you're probably wondering what about the music am i going to get all of the songs from the original broly dub I don't believe so. I don't have an answer to that one right now, but I'm fairly certain it's going to be the Kikuchi score with the English dub, you know, audio as in like the, the you know, the Sean Schemmel and Chris Abbott in them. So that clarifies that. The same thing applies to, oh, these pop-ups. The same thing applies to the second showing, the Saiyan double feature. It's They're going to be showing two features. Now, I've said this a million times. Bardock, the father of Goku, is not a Dragon Ball Z movie. It's a Dragon Ball Z television special. It aired for one hour with commercial breaks on TV. It's not a movie. It's never been a movie. But now what they're doing with it is they are going to put it as part of a double feature with Dragon Ball Z Fusion Reborn, which is the Gogeta versus Janemba movie, which was a theatrical movie. So they're basically doing, you know, taking Bardock and putting it there because the Janemba movie is only about what, like... I think like 50 minutes, I want to say, something like that. So the idea is that when you go to the movie theater, you're getting a double feature. You're getting two movies. But remember, the Bardock movie is not um, a movie. you know. So it's not going to have the theatrical production quality that Fusion Reborn has. But that being said, just like with the Broly movie, these are not going to be redubs. I wish they would redub that Bardock special because the original dub of that Bardock special is really bad. I'm not a fan of that dub whatsoever. There's too many dub changes, too many script changes. It just, it's bad. But it is going to be, you know, in theaters. So, I mean, if you want to see that in theaters, 
You know, not even Japan got that movie in theaters because it's not really a movie. It's a TV special. You know, they only got it on television. Fusion Reborn was actually in theaters for a very brief time back in 2005. They actually showed here in the United States on very limited release Fusion Reborn and The Return of Cooler. So this is not the first time they've done something like this. It's been years, but it's not the first time that they've done it. Um, I, for one, think it's pretty exciting. Those are coming out November 3rd, November 5th. And I'll be honest, though, the fact that they're not subbed does kind of bug me because I wanted to get that Japanese experience. But it is the original English dub of those films. The Bardock dub, I'm not a fan of. The Fusion Reborn dub is okay. I, I like that one. It's not... It's not perfect, but I'll, it's fine. Um, with the with the Japanese music, presumably, it's not going to have you know all those rock songs that the Bardock one had. I, I mean, I, I, they could use a Nathan Johnson score. I'm not sure on that one from Fusion Reborn, but from what I understand, everything I've gathered, it's presented by Fathom Events, who again did confirm that this is going to be uh, dub only in theaters so at least you'll get like a nice surround sound you know experience with the big screen um and you get a broly trading card so that's kind of cool i guess for the first showing um so that's pretty much what's going on just wanted to clarify that again these movies have already been remastered even the bardock special was remastered into blu-ray like 10 years ago okay all of this this they're not remastering it again if you own these blu-rays it's the same thing it's just a special showing in theaters so you can get together with fans and watch this thing and have a good time so that's what this is and spread this video out to those who may be confused about it now you know the whole story uh, and one last thing some folks are asking why are they doing this obviously they're doing movies themed around the sands because I believe that the 20th Dragon Ball movie, which is the super movie coming out this December, will be in theaters sooner than later. I'm not saying it'll be there in December. That's not what I'm saying, but it could be. It could be very, very soon. We know for sure it's coming out in Japan. We don't know when it's coming out outside of Japan, but Toei wants to put it out quickly, so it might even be the same month. It could be in a couple of months, but expect that movie to drop very soon. And that's cool that they're actually putting these in theaters again. I, for one, think it's a good thing. I wish it was just sub, though. Anyways, thank you guys so very much. I hope you have a great, great, great day, and I'll talk to y'all soon. Remember, spread this out to those who may be confused.